Hey yo, what up guys? It's Dark Lord Fire. I'm here today to bring to you a brand new video. Okay, so we are back. It's actually been like two weeks since I last played this, unfortunately, and yeah, it's just kind of how it's been. You know, with kids, it's tough to find time to record, so. But I figured I had a few minutes, so I was like, let's do it. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Aerith, isn't it? Sorry, the Shinra have her. Ugh. I know. They took her from here. They were here. That's what Aerith wanted. Why is Shinra after Aerith? Aerith is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been about 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wutai. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Wasn't that the same couple from earlier? Am I imagining things? Have they just been, like, at that train station for, like, the last 15 years? I don't know, I just kind of always assumed that they were a couple, like, in their 20s or whatever. Uh -huh. Young Elmira. Interesting. Uh. Oh, I know. I know Aerith's real mom's name. It's like Stefan or something. No, it's not Stefan. I think I'm close. Uh, my husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just canceled. I want. I went to the station every day. Then one day, yes. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I love how the Shinra guard is just watching this all happen and he's like, whatever, it's none of my business. This scene was redone in, in Rebirth and it is phenomenal. It's really, really well done. I used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were Please take Aerith somewhere safe. I wonder how long the Wutai War actually went on uh, went on for. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely, so I decided to take her home with me. Aerith and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. Really? So she actually had no actual interaction with with her, with Aerith's mom, I, I I always remembered it like she had final words for her, but nothing. Wow. Okay. She told me how she escaped from some kind of research laboratory and that her mother had already returned to the planet, so she wasn't lonely. Many other things. Return to the planet? I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom? So, planetology is not something that's practiced very much in this game. Barrett seems to know about planetology, but no one else. Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden when... I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming, coming to see you, but he already returned to the planet. I wonder if he was... Look, it obviously took him a few years to die because Aerith is older. I wonder if he was getting experimented on by Hojo. Like if he was just like in a lab somewhere getting experimented on. Hmm. At that time, I didn't believe her. But, oh, and by the way, guys... 
I might have to cut this video short. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of having to cut my videos short either. But uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that was it. That has happened, but we're happy. We were happy until one day. We want you to return Aerith to us. We've been searching for her a long time. No, never. Aerith, you're a very special child. You... You are special blood. Special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. Thank you. Yes, no, we just found that out too. Um, but thank you for reestablishing what we already actually know. So, thank you for that. The ancients will lead us to the land of supreme happiness. If, if you say so. I mean, sure. Ah. Damn texting. Earth will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. I mean, will she though? That is why Shinra would like Eris' cooperation. I mean, you're, you're basically just assuming here, right? I mean, none of this is actually fact or anything like that. That is why Shinra would like Eris' cooperation. He's wrong! I'm not an agent! I'm not! But Aerith, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone? No, I don't! But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. Really? Because when we met Aerith, she was not trying hard to hide anything. She was all like, what's that? Oh yeah, I know things, whatever. It's amazing how she's avoided the Shinra. The Shinra for all those years. The Shinra. Yes, of course. The Shinra. The Shinra needs her. No, the Shinra need her. There's no S in needs. So I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Sung. Sung? For sure it's Sung. Found them on their way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene? Aerith was caught because of Marlene? I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you leave a child alone like that? Please, don't stop with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I just want to be with her. Always. See? I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go and see her? Well, I mean his daughter sigh it's my fault I was the one who got Aerith involved in this don't say that Aerith doesn't think so I'm so glad I'm so glad you're all right Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Okay. Cloud. You're gonna go help Aerith, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra's... The Shinra? Come on, what's going on? The Shinra? If the Shinra's involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Aerith asked me lots of questions. Like, what kind of person Cloud is. I bet he likes... I bet she likes you, Cloud. Let's hope so, or I don't know. I'm gonna go with I don't know. Dummy! 
Alrighty. I'm just not gonna get along with Marlene in this playthrough. Sigh. It's my fault. Don't say that. Aerith doesn't think so. Alright. You're going after Aerith, right? Yeah. And I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra's headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right. Now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. Push you to the limit. If I stay here, I'll go crazy. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Does she? I don't think she ever goes somewhere else. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that ever happens. I think she's just always here. Uh. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Uh. Well, let's go to the wall market. We might be able to find something there. So, I doubt you guys will notice because this is an older ass game. But I actually had to turn the graphics down on my PS5 massively in order for it to be connected to my switcher. Um, I've got an HDMI switcher that has... It, it, it's an 8 HDMI switcher just because I didn't want to deal with so many cords. And I didn't want to deal with the cords of other switchers. So, But the thing is, is that this was like a, a $60 cheap 8 port HDMI switcher. And the reason why I'm getting into all this is because in order for it to work, I had to turn down the graphics of my Xbox Series X and my PS5 massively. Uh, for the Xbox, I was able to get a little bit more power out of, out of the HDMI switcher. But the PS5 has not been wanting to cooperate. Um, yeah, it... Uh, it's at 720p right now. It I, I can't can't have it on any higher graphics. So an older game like this, it's probably not noticeable. But in case you guys are noticing it, that's what's going on. That's why it's like that. So heads up. I could always unhook my um, HDMI switcher from my capture card, but I really don't want to go back and forth a billion times so unless I have to I'm not gonna do that like if I was playing something way more graphically impressive like for example I've been playing through Elden Ring lately um, then yeah I would I would probably do it that way but I don't see any reason to I don't see any reason to put in all the extra effort of switching it over for replay for playing and then in my meantime and then recording and that uh, kind of pointless. So at this point, I'm kind of rambling, but I think you guys get what I mean. Like if it's, if it's less graphically impressive, that's why. I don't know how much the internet really cares about that sort of thing. I would imagine a lot because I've heard other streamers talk about that sort of thing. Oh. I guess I'm going to have to stop, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.